What's up guys, this is Merc Music, and welcome to the haunting event on Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> yeah guys, for this event you have to kill players and monsters, and in-game it's going to drop souls. Now it's going to be pretty hard to find the souls of anyone that bought over a thousand dollars of skins in this game. Bazinga! Now, but here's some of the rewards you can get for capturing souls. Gonna be honest, what we have so far is not great, and for some reason, you can't get everything that's here quite yet. This whole bottom row says coming soon, so hopefully this stuff is better, but I don't know. There's only two skins, and this is one of them. I mean, this is not great. Then we have the alien death ray handgun. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like the alien. Wait, oh my god, that's just, that's straight up from Infinite Warfare Zombies. I thought the artwork looked familiar. Oh yeah, it straight up says zombies in spaceland. I mean, that is amazing. These preview animations always give us the best angles, as you can tell by this. Uh, okay, there we go. That's much better. Yep, 100% straight out of Infinite Warfare. I love it. What kind of angle is this? Okay, gonna try not to complain too much, but I I don't know how they dropped the ball with the preview animations. Like, they're so bad for this game. I guess you could say the preview animations are a bit corny. But yes, this is the free stuff that you can actually earn by playing the game, but we all know that all the good stuff is put into the store. Like the Skeletor bundle, I mean, I think this one's actually gonna be pretty great. Why does his head kind of look like plastic, dude? So if you buy this bundle, first off, it's almost a $30 bundle, 2,800 COD points. You do get three different versions of him, which is kind of cool. I mean, I feel like a lot of people are gonna rock this one. You also get a Vaznev and an RPK variant. Even though we can't preview the takedowns, this one is probably gonna be pretty cool. Yeah, I'm 700 COD points short. The whole COD point desync thing is on my account so if i really wanted to get this i'd have to get on playstation but i don't know i'm curious to hear from you guys would you buy this on modern warfare 2 it is going to carry forward to modern warfare 3 so at least you can get an extra year out of the skin i'm thinking about it but at the same time there's a part of me that wants to get this tracer pack the doom chainsaw and the shotgun okay so we're here on the battle pass and if you look at the haunting event there's not necessarily anything to unlock in the battle pass it just takes you right over to the haunting event screen for multiplayer they have a 24 7 haunting playlist that has spooky versions of LS Elo and Embassy. If possible, I'd rather just go to private match so we can check out the maps and explore them. Wait, I got a daily login reward. I got a pumpkin charm. Wait, they're advertising the new bundles by the free login rewards? Come on, man. Is there any part of this game that is safe from this stuff? The answer is no. Okay, let's start off. Wait, do they not have spooky LS Elo? They actually removed this from private match. Earlier on in the season, you could actually just go into private match and play the maps early. It looks like they might have just gotten rid of them entirely, though. Well, that is a massive bummer. If I wanted to do an open lobby on the spooky maps, now we can't do it. And I also can't freely explore them. Now we're going to try to play it online and explore, but I'm probably just going to get shot by people. All right, well, it's haunting 24-7. I don't get to choose what map we get. I'm just going to have to hope that people are chilling. We already know that people are not chill on this game. I swear to God they were there before, but for some reason, Infinity Ward took them out of private match. Maybe it's because they only want people to be playing the online games. I'm just going to come right out and say it. I think that's silly. What if we want to goof around in a private match and enjoy the maps? And this is what's so misleading, too, because they're showing the regular Embussy preview, but then... Wait, what? Did they mess up this event? We're on the map. Is it actually going to be the scary version? Okay, wait a second. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Now, apparently, there's also jump scares that were added to the different, like, scary playlists and stuff. I don't know what's going to happen. I left them on, though. I did not turn them off. But if you want to turn them off, you can Oh my god. Yo, there's just like a... <laughs> Teammates jump scared me. There's just a dead skeleton guy over here. Hey, buddy. Oh my god, dude. Okay, I actually really like these details, man. I don't necessarily care to play the match out. I just want to see what the maps look like. Oh, okay. It's this person a has a Lilith shotgun. bundle and the Doom shotgun. Look at me. What has this game become? I feel bad because I think these guys actually want to play, but I'm literally just, I don't care. I mentally checked out a Modern Warfare 2. I'm just trying to enjoy the new stuff. Everyone on the other team has bought the Doom shotgun. I swear, this is the engagement optimized matchmaking. They're trying to put me against people who have bought these bundles, so that way I'll try to buy them. The sad thing is it's probably going to work, at least for like the Doom bundle. Wait, <gasps> that's the flag? Yo, they got a scarecrow as the flag. That's so cool. Yep, B flag's also a scarecrow. Yeah, that's so cool. I love that detail. Oh my god, dude, there's just a bunch of dead bodies at the tennis court. These are all my victims who else wants to come over here and die again i would love to explore this more in depth but i can't because we're playing online okay yeah let's go ahead and try to find the other map i really hope the war zone side of things for this event is going better also since i'm rage quitting these matches i'm not getting any of the souls so that's cool eric you have to stay in the match and play it all the way through even if you're suffering immensely cool stop giving me embassy we got it lsc low team deathmatch with a a little rat with wings on top it's kind of cool okay so far this isn't looking as different 
We got this little guy up here. Gen 10 Pokemon be like, I think they went more for like Dia de los Muertos on this one. I mean, come on, look at that. We got some on the outside of the map over here too. Dude, I just watched Coco with Karina like a couple days ago. It's just such a great movie. This rework right here is giving me the same kind of vibes. Yeah, they got like the flowers on the railing and stuff. Oh my God, look at all this. Th this is actually a lot of detail they put on this one. They try to put someone's kid in the game holding like a little stuffy. Oh my God, they got the food out too. Okay, please help me out because this looks like tofu cubes. I think this is supposed to be something, but I'm, my guess is strawberries next to beans. But wait, is that also strawberries? We have some Triscuits. We've got, I think some pancakes or maybe that sausage. I can't really tell. I, I'm not sure what these squares are. And then uh, I think cake like over here. And then I'm going to assume full whole potatoes. Yeah, I don't know who's eating this, but you're definitely getting diarrhea. I think it would have been cool if the map just looked like this all the time. Yeah, we got a little neon sign over here. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all of the details that are on the map from what I can tell. Let's see what they got on the TV. Out come. Train go boom. Yeah, okay, we're leaving. Oh man, they got rid of hardcore shipment 24-7. I mean, I guess we still have regular shipment 24-7, but I don't get why they'd get rid of it. For multiplayer, at least, there's two more game modes. We have Trick or Treat, which is drop zone with scare packages, and then we also have a zombie version of Infected. Bro, what is this? They uploaded a trailer for the Skeletor bundle. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> hey, oh, we got infected on El Asilo too. I wonder if you can only play these game modes on the new like spooky maps or if you can play them on other maps too. That's actually a feature I missed from the Modern Warfare 3 beta. You can see exactly which maps were playable depending on the game mode that you're picking. Now, I don't know if there's anything different about this version of infected unless they just reskinned the infected players to look like zombies. If that's the case, then I think we could just leave this. Oh, here we go. Hey, buddy. Oh, we got some souls. All right, well, we're dead. I'm going to leave now. Okay, yeah, so we got Trick or Treat Drop Zone on Embassy. So maybe it is only the scary maps. All right, let's see the scare package. What's so scary about it? I'm, I'm picking it up and I have been jump scared. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do my team a favor and call in this VTOL and I am leaving. Gotta be perfectly honest, the multiplayer side of things for this event is not looking the best. I do appreciate the work that they put into kind of like remaking the maps and just changing the art style to fits, you know, October and stuff, but come on. Trick or treat drop zone and zombie infected and then haunting 24 7. This is definitely not as good as what they have in Warzone. I don't know if that's intentional, but we're gonna switch over to Warzone because I'm pretty sure what we have over there is better than what we have in multiplayer. Are you sure about that? Ah, jump scare! Ah, just kidding, it's the Warzone menu screen. Okay, so what exactly do we have? Wait a second, does Warzone not really have anything either? What is, what is this? All we have is massive resurgence quads and it's a nighttime version of Almazra. Did they forget to turn on the mode? Where's the event? Is Charlotte Intelligence reporting this? Nah, instead we have an update about weapon blueprints. But the event isn't even happening, at least for Warzone players. I mean, that's crazy. Look at this. Here's the roadmap. Here's what we have. There's supposed to be all this different stuff. I mean, granted, if we play Almazra at night, then we will have this much. But we don't have Von Dead, there's no Haunted Weather, there's no Zombie Quarantine, there's no Operation Nightmare, there's no Zombie Royale. We're missing so much of the event right now. I think we should probably just go ahead and try the Massive Resurgence Quads to see what's going on. Oh, it is. Yeah, here it is. The Soul Harvester. Nice. See, now how come this gun has a proper preview animation? Look at that. This actually looks nice. How come for the pistol it's just like horrendously terrible? Let's see what it looks like with camos. Gold's not too bad. That's actually kind of sick. Platinum's okay. Then you have Polyatomic. I mean, that's wow. Orion Camo's okay with it. I think Polyatomic looks the best. Because again, that's just the base gun right here. Yeah, I'm going to put on Polyatomic. That is nasty. Okay, so this is all Mazra at night. Die. Check out our new uh, Tracer Pack gun. Oh, ooh, look at that. All right, this is our scary war zone. Look at the scary plane. Oh, it's going to get us. Ooh. Look at me. I'm the zombie version of Ghost. I've got all the pre-order stuff. <laughs> the a la carte bundle. Nice. What else we got? Okay, default skin. And another bundle. <laughs> this game's ridiculous, man. Hey, at least one person here is rocking just like a default skin. The butcher. Yo, okay. I want to see whatever that is. We have the ghost train and we have the butcher. We're definitely going to the butcher. I don't know what that is, but I want to find out. Okay, maybe I'll drop over here and get some stuff first before going over there. Oh, everyone had the same idea as me. Okay. Now, since the Warzone community is really chill, I'm sure they're going to want to work together to find out what's going on over there instead of just killing each other. Okay, good. to be honest, I was not ready for that one. Okay, wait, hold on. What's going on here? They're doing a ritual? Dude, this is crazy. What? Don't shoot? Why are you shooting me? What? What's the point? Why are you killing? That's what I'm saying. What's wrong with these players? I just want to see what's going on with the events, and they're just killing people. I want like, to be part of the ritual, please. Please don't kill me. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I... 
I'm not trying to shoot anyone. Okay, cool. This is going great so far. We got zombies and stuff happening, but everyone's ruining it. I can't spam movement and try to just dodge bullets either. Like, this is all I've got. I can just slide back and forth. I'm going to die. That's how you want to play it, little bitch? Fuck you! Oh, yo, we gotta collect these souls. Oh, boy. Look at- Whoa, you get a lot of XP. Did they finish the ritual? That's the question. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Start the ritual. There we go. Oh, teammate, no! We're doing the ritual. Collect the souls! We got so many snipers watching us right now. <laughs> this is so lame, man. Like, I like the event and stuff, but the way that people play. Like, why do we have snipers watching us do a ritual over here? You're literally watching us play the event and watching us have fun. You could be doing it yourself, but no. You're sitting in the back sniping. I can hear the silenced bullets coming at us. Nice. Okay, you got all looted up, and now you're gonna kill us. Awesome. Woohoo. The ritual's almost completely done, too. We only have to do one more altar. Trash. Get away from me. Give me your AK. Ooh. Yeah, this guy had stuff. Look at that. What else you got? Lockman sub? Beautiful. Oh, we got a precision. Nice. We can use that. These guys decided to be unchill, so you know what? That's what we're doing. Shot missed. No joy. Okay, the airstrike got absolutely no one. Who knows? Maybe we can run people over. <laughs> he thought he could hide there. <laughs> I don't think so. This is actually... Wait. They DDoS the vehicle. You nerds. Oh my god. Every little thing. They're ready for it. Enemy dropping into the AO. Enemy destroyed. Use your attack... Uh, wait, what? I, I don't know who I just killed, but that's hilarious. And... Now I'm dead again. I'm just not ready for this level of nerding out on Warzone right now. I, I really am not. They haven't even finished the last altar. Like, what are you doing? Everyone is just killing each other instead of actually doing the thing. I think after doing that, it's going to summon the Butcher, but we have to not mess this up. Oh, wait, Jesus. Okay, I was not ready for that. <laughs> I don't know why I keep forgetting about the jump scares. Ah, uh, he sees me. Great. Should have saved the flashbang. Now I'm gonna get, get I'm gonna get killed by this nerd. There's nothing I can do. Awesome. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, so there's this tweet from Raven that says this is the first week of playlists for the haunting in Warzone. Starting today, you can jump into Von Dead or all Mazra's night variation. And then on Friday, Zombie Royale and Von Dead at night arrive. Wait, uh, wait, what? They said today you can play Von Dead, but then later they're saying you have to wait until Friday to play Von Dead. I'm so confused. Yeah, literally you cannot play Von Dead right now. That's not a thing. The nighttime version of Vondel is not in the game right now. On top of the fact that the Warzone community has no chill, and we can't even do a simple objective on the map without destroying each other. I may or may not test my patience and try to actually complete some of this stuff later and potentially share that stuff with you guys if you want to see it. But for now, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed the haunting events in a nutshell. So far, the event is off to a bit of a rocky start. I hope that it does get better as it progresses. But right now, gotta be perfectly honest, not as good as I thought it was gonna be. But even if this event turns out to be complete dookie flakes, I do still have a lot of Modern Warfare 3 footage stockpiled. I've got all kinds of different videos. So if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see more of the haunting events or even some more Modern Warfare 3 beta stuff, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. Outcome. Thank you.